What's up, everybody? It's Julian. Today, I want to talk to you about something I've been learning about for the past few years that I don't think a lot of you guys take into account when you're chasing being a DJ so fast. So, before we get started, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. Check out all my sample packs and templates at the top of the description so you can make the best tracks of your life today using them. Thanks for the support, everybody. And let's dive in. So yeah, guys, today I want to talk to you about the honest, you know, tough life of being a DJ. I think a lot of us romanticize, you know, trying to have a big number one track and then going rushing around the world and playing. And that can be very cool. And I'm not saying that's bad. I'm not even saying I don't want to do that. I'm just saying we should probably talk about the reality of what that's going to be for you, right? So the way it typically works is you get a little buzz going, whether it's like one big song or like a few songs, maybe you have kind of like a scene that you're around and the agents start calling and you start getting chances to, you know, get on a plane every single weekend and go play your techno somewhere around the world. Now, the thing about this is it can seem really fun and cool from the outside, right? Like, wow, I get to get on a plane and go play techno and do all this and that, but there's a lot of negatives that come with it. For one, everybody that you know is on a different time zone, right? Like, everybody that you know, for the most part, besides the other DJs, goes to work at 9, clocks out at 5, comes home, turns off their brain, plays some video games, and goes to sleep. You are now living this life as a professional DJ where all throughout the week you're kind of just like at home maybe you're producing maybe you're working on different things getting your tracks together but you're kind of just standing at home kind of like well what do i do and everyone else is living their lives and now the weekends come and it's the time where you they can hang out with you but they can't because now you're on the plane off to wherever to go play your tracks so i think that's the first thing is like you're gonna get pretty alienated from your friends and family with this lifestyle and a lot of people don't talk about that enough the next thing that people really glaze over is just how hard it is to actually travel, right? Like, yes, the first few times it can be very cool. Oh, I'm getting on a plane. Oh, my God. I didn't even have to pay for the flight. Oh, you know. But after you do that for, like, a few months, a year, multiple years, you know, it starts to lose its mystique. And the truth is traveling sucks. Like, <laughs> even if you get in first class every single flight, I mean, it just is, like, still brutal i mean we're not meant to live like that right like you know travel on a plane is something that came along in the past like 50 to 100 years we're not meant to be going country to country like that so it can really be a shock to your system and i think the traveling kind of sucks as well you know obviously we are all a little bit more emotional deeper people that's kind of why we're into this music and why we're so into it right well the truth is like when you're traveling like that you're basically just the only date you're going on is with your backpack in the airport, right? Like, there's not really much, like, you can't really have someone come with you. Can I don't think it's very sustainable, though. I think, like, let's say you do have a girlfriend that could come with you on the road. Like, I think after a, after a year of her doing that and it's not her gigs, like, it's gonna be really hard, man. So, you got to keep that in mind. Like, maybe if you're the type that can just be alone all the time, it's good, but. If you're like me, it can be quite lonely. And I, I don't think there's any shame in admitting this to yourself either, too. Like, I myself was definitely wanting to be on that circuit for a little bit. And I'm honestly quite grateful that I don't have to do it. Because, like, another part of it is, like, all this tough stuff that I'm telling you, right? About flying, about being alienated from your family, about can't have a girlfriend, can't have a dog, can't do all this kind of stuff. Not to mention, like, that's the only way that you could really make your money. Like, when you go for that, that avenue in music, you're not making money online very much unless you have, like, a channel like I've got or something like that. You're not making money from your music. You make the money from DJing. So that means, like, oh, yo, you want to feed your family? Better hop on that plane for two months straight and not see any of them, you know? It, I've... I just think it can be a very malicious thing, and it doesn't look like that because, of course, like, everybody that just goes to work every day, oh, my God, you go tour, and you're going to be on a plane DJing and wherever this weekend. That's so cool. But, like, yeah, I, I just think it's one of those things that can look really glamorous from the outside. And the reality is, not to mention, like, if we're talking about glamour, it doesn't even get that glamorous until you get to a top level. We're talking about underground here. We're talking about, like, dark, hard techno and stuff. Like, 
you know, you're going to be grinding for years and years before you're even getting, like, you know, pretty good hotel rooms and stuff like that. Like, you know, if you think, like, the DJ life is just going to be David Guetta and you have, like, a personal chef and you get to work out every day and everything is, like, all chill. Man, you know, these things, uh, turnover is fast and things move quick and, you know, this isn't this isn't the world of bands. Like, you're supposed to be able to just move on a dime. Your whole gear that you bring to the show is literally just your USB, so you better be ready to get moving and you better be ready to not be very comfortable, you know? And I think that's the biggest part is, like, how much comfort are you willing to sacrifice and how much of, like, those personal relationships and stuff like that are you willing to sacrifice for that love of music? Now... If you're somebody who is like, nah, my passion is literally to go to these parts of the world, play this music for them that they can't hear or that they're not hearing, and show it to them. Okay, you are the person that should do that. Like, you are the person that should be doing this. I'm talking about people like myself who maybe thought that that was the only avenue to make money and to have a living in music and didn't always realize the atrocious lifestyle that's going to come with it. And also how that can wear off, the fun of that can wear off within like a year, right? I'm talking to the people like that who just maybe haven't quite realized that just yet. And you know, luckily we live in a time with music where there's a lot of avenues to make money, you know? And you could still tour. Like, I'll still go play dates. I'll still go do stuff like that. It's just I'm not setting up my whole business to be, oh, I have to do this. I have to get on a plane to go make the money to feed, you know, my kids or something like that. Like. I mean, that's just a crazy proposition to try to live with. But again, like, it's not that crazy if you're a certain type of person. I think if you're like me and you're a bit more introverted and you want to just not have to be on all the time, then yeah, like, it sounds like hell. Now, if you're very extroverted and you love that, and again, you have that passion of, like, I'm going to bring this music to these people, well, there you go. So, yeah, I pretty much just wanted to make this video to shed some light on just how bad the DJ life is can be and maybe just give a different perspective because a lot of people on here are trying to sell you on a dream and i'm not telling you that dream isn't great i'm just telling you that you know all the glitters ain't gold and it's not always what it looks like so that's gonna be it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed as always make sure to like this video as well as subscribe and let me know what you think of this video in the comments like i said in the beginning you can get all my sample packs midi files projects templates everything like that for my videos is available at the top of the description on my website make sure to go there and grab those i promise you'll make the best track of your life today if you do thank you so much for the support everybody and i'll see you tomorrow with another video